just, okay, video game vlog time. I just watched the East End in trailer. Because this is the first time I had, like, internet for, like, my laptop. So, I, because my phone, I've just been using data. And my poor data is just dead. But I just watched the trailer to East End. And I ain't got no red for it. Okay, before you all harp all over my shit and just be like, Why are you being hating? Why are you hating? I am hating because it's... Granted, I feel better now that dude's name is actually dude. Norman Reedus' character actually has a name, and it's not just some nameless asshole walking around holding shit. So it's Sam. I thought that in one of those other trailers they said his name was Sam, but it was confirmed. His name is Sam, and I still don't know if his name is Sam Porter because I do remember that last thing I watched last week or whatever. His name, it, it had Porter all over. But a Porter is a person that does have, like, carries heavy loads or whatever. And I'm just like, it is still him walking. Because even in the nine minute trailer that I just watched, it was still a big chunk where people were walking around holding shit and walking around holding ladders, holding swords, holding things, holding backpacks, hold, beating people up with suitcases or whatever that was. <sighs> It might not just be a walking simulator, but there's going to be a lot of walking around holding shit. And that's just not going to work for me. Sunny point number two, it is. It's probably going to be 98 million hours long because it said edited by Hideo Kojima. And that man is in dire ass need of a good, real fortright direct, I mean, uh, editor to tell him, dude, you don't need to be putting everything in the kitchen sink in your shit. Just put like a couple good topics in and you will captivate people. You don't need to be putting in 900 plot points because what is this about? It's about, oh, America's got to be united and humans need to work together and be friendly and, and be and like on whatever. Then you got like this supernatural aspect to it where like it's like ghosts floating around and like they can drag you to quote Hades. What are we doing? And then it's like some war element. What are we doing? And and I can see like the Metal Gearness because in Metal Gear you had the Sorrow who had supernatural powers and would could, could psychically get into people's brains and stuff and minds and stuff. And then you had Psycho Mantis in the original Metal Gear Solid where he could control people with mind control, whatever psychic abilities. So I see this is going down this road, and it also has like an anti-war feel to it. It has like a walking simulator feel to it. Is this a hard, I'm not saying it has to be labeled. I'm not one of those people, well, are you a horror game? Are you a action game? Are you a platformer? What are we doing? But, and, I, and the thing is, when I was watching it, I was like, I could feel myself asking that question, even though I just said it doesn't have to have a label, but I know what the answer would be if I asked, Captain McRobot Kojima, he would just be like, oh, it's an experience. It's not just about being a platformer or being like a horror game. It's, it's, it's about an experience and it's about life. And it's just like, all right, man. Okay, so you really need an editor real bad. You need somebody to come in and rein it in and dial it back like five, six, thousand notches because right now this joint is at like a seven million I, I don't even know how you dial back from a seven million like maybe if it was at like a hundred you could dial it back to like a good 80 i would take like 80 that's like a good number that's well over half but you are at nine million over the over the moon with it and i'm just like i don't know i, I don't want to sit through something that's going to be that long with that many damn plot points because it's looking metal gear 2 e to me where like metal gear solid 2 i was all hot for it back when it came out and then it took this weird ass turn where it was like oh we're gonna bring riding in i was fine with riding i didn't really care about riding i still to this day don't care about riding but it was like oh riding's in it oh and then we're gonna have oh we but like we have the Lali Lule Lo people coming in and they were doing the S3 program and trying to like control information. It's going in that direction where it's so many plot points that it's just losing sight of what it's supposed to be. <laughs> and I don't know what the hell it's supposed to be, but 
it's too much. It's too. It's, it's that too many cooks joint they had on an Adult Swim where we were sitting there for like twelve minutes with too many cooks. It's too many plot points. Can you like two, two at a max three? But you got ninety going all at once, and it's just like, what is actually? What is this? What is going on with this? What is this about? What is this trying to talk? What are we doing? But I'm not getting no answers. And I know I'm not getting any answers. And I'm further not getting any answers because guess what? I'm still not going to get I'm still not watching it. I refuse. I actually refuse to watch it. It's a part of me that's like, don't refuse because it might bust out and surprise you. But I'm thinking it's going to be on the lines of Metal Gear Solid 2 and Metal Gear Solid 4. And those are my least two favorite Metal Gears. And I don't, I don't even know. I've never seen police cops or police knots or whatever the hell it was called. And the game, I forget the other game he did, Xeno Gears, I think. Was it Xeno Gears? It wasn't Xeno Gears. Zone of the Enders is what it was. It was Zone of the Enders. And I heard that was like 400,000 hours long with 900,000 plot points. And it's just like, boyfriend, I know you want to be poignant. I know you want to make a point of stuff. I know you have topics that are near and dear to your heart, and that's all peachy and dandy. But you need to dial it back and like put like two or three good two things. Just put two good plot points into one really good game, and then put your other you know thesis statements in a whole other different game, and it'll be just as good. Why do you gotta throw everything with the kitchen sink and somebody mom all in it? What are we doing? So. I, I, don't, I don't think I can handle it. I'm, I'm back to I can't handle it. I know I can't handle it. So I'm not going to handle it because I can't handle it. So just, it was so much in nine minutes that they threw at you. It was so many plot points. And then you still got people walking around holding shit. I'm just like, fine, fine, whatever. So have fun with that. That's coming out November 8th. I don't really care about it. I'm probably going to be somewhere in a blind-ass stupor, so I don't know. But that's going to get ready to go around, and everybody all got their dicks wet for it, not me. I'm like, no, nah, I, 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 that's still a hard pass for me. I'm I'm, I'm not. It's like there's a part of me that wants to check. I'll, here's what I'll do. I'll make this statement. I will try to watch the first 15 minutes, which is probably just... 10 minutes it's, it's probably just like 45 minutes of a cut scene but i would try to watch the first fact we won't i'll try to watch the first 15 if i can get through the first 15 minutes i can probably suffer through the 900 million other hours to come but if i can't get through the first 15 minutes if i can't even get through the first five then i'm just really done with the shit so i will tr i will say i will try to give it some play i don't want to because I know how this is going to go. I know what's going to happen here. And it will be heralded as the greatest thing since, I don't know, sliced bread. I don't know, hand jobs. I don't know. They're going to herald it as the greatest thing in the world. And for me, it's just going to be like, it's typical Kojima. He needs a good editor. He needs to dial it back. He needs to put like three good topics into a game and stop trying to put everything into one damn game and just wrap it up. But... Y'all gonna love it. And it's not even about the graphics because I know somebody was like, well, but the graphics are hot. I, I'm sorry. We are in 2019. At this point, your graphics should look like this. I mean, no. I could see if it was like, you know, five years ago when those graphics were looking like that, then I'd be like, well, damn. But it's 2019. I expect your graphics to look like that, to be on par with almost looking like actual human beings. That is an expectation. Graphics is not a pass for me no more. It's like, unless, there's nothing else you can do unless you're going to actually really physically put people physically into a game, which they did that and nobody liked it. So, at this point, I don't consider graphic graphical upgrades and graphics to be like a thing. So, no, that, you don't get a pass from me on that. Yes, your graphics should look that damn good. And they did look good, but that's not a situation where you get like, oh, the graphics are hot. Like, yeah, your graphics are supposed to be hot. So, what are we doing? But, yeah, no. It, I, I'll watch the first 15 and see where it go, but I don't expect to make it through that. So, ugh. There is that going around. Um, 
that was primarily the big thing this week because I thought it was more. And I told y'all about the um, the um, I will reiterate in case you don't watch my general vlog stuff. Um, I had the greatest fangirl week of my life or, or day of my life yesterday. So it all started with a tweet to David. Like I I I added David Hater and he liked my tweet and it went for me. For Adrian, it went a it went out on viral. So, which like I said, it topped out at like twenty seven thousand impressions, and it got what did it get? I got three or four new followers, and hang on, oh that's that standing mess. Um, it ended up with four retweets, which is a high record for me, but the most likes I've ever received in my life at seventy eight likes. I never get stuff like that. But it came from this app called Tubi. I am not being paid by Tubi because Tubi is a free thing. So if you want to watch stuff on Tubi, they have like a lot of different stuff. They have movies, they have shows, they have straight to video on demand slash DVD fare, like bargain bin DVDs. So, but they did have movies. They had David Hader's movie who did, if you didn't know, he did Solid Snake's voice. And I met him last year at Comic-Con, at Tampa's Comic-Con, which was awesome. We exchanged fight stories. <laughs> that was so much fun. But, um, they have David Hayter's movies. Um, he's playing a villain one I watched son, um, Monday. Was it? Yeah, it was Monday, because nobody was home that day, except for me and my husband. Everybody else went to the beach, and I didn't feel like going. Um, they have his movie, The Devil's Mile, Mile which is, he's playing a villain in that, which is kind of like... David Heater's playing a villain. David Heater's beating up on some people. I won't spoil it, but David Heater does some shisty stuff, and you should watch that movie because he's doing shisty stuff. And it's like, oh, what? You're supposed to be the hero. How you want to be shisty? Well, Snake is kind of shisty, though. Well, not, yes, it probably shisty, especially, but Snake, he seemed like he kind of shisty. He seemed like he would try to take your girlfriend from you. But, whatever. Um, but The Devil's Mile is up, and now that I have internet, I'm going to watch his other movie, Wolves, so I'm going to watch that, so I said I would watch that in New York, I might, I might save that for Sunday to keep me from having a complete nervous breakdown on Monday, so I need to watch, but either way, I need to watch that one, so Devil's Mile and Wolves are two of the David Hayter movies that are up, also, Burn is up for free, which is one of his real, real early movies, up, um, on YouTube, and I'll post a link to that and whatever. That, that is very 90s art house, so and he's, it's like a sex scene with him, and I, I just felt real uncomfortable watching him in a sex scene, like, it just felt like watching a relative do stuff like that, and it was just kind of like why am I watching this? But, yeah, that's also up, if that's up for free on YouTube if you want to watch Burn, so I'll post a link to that. Um, also in these fan movies, they have a couple of movies, DC Douglas, which there's a lot of stuff going on with DC Douglas, and I still like DC Douglas, and I, I it's weird, I like DC Douglas as a person, because I like some of the tweets that he tweets out, I think I like, not, like, I might not click the like button, but I do like some of the stuff that he says, so, it's just, he was in, like, they had, what movie did I watch of his? I watched part of Alpha House, because that was, like, a teen sex romp. Like, he was, like, the associate dean trying to shut down with some... It was, it's like those 80, 80s movies where they're trying to shut down the the, the, the the frat house that's just, like, the frat house from hell, and they're always having all these shenanigans. So, I couldn't get through that one because it was just way too much of a teen sex romp, and I was just like, it's a lot of boob in this. <laughs> and it was a lot of boob. I knew it was, I was getting boob, but, like, the amount of boobs I was getting was just kind of like... I can kind of live down my own shirt for free. Um, but they had Alpha House, they have Titanic 2, which I've seen, which is funny. And um, there's one more. They, oh, and Apocalypse Kiss, the one he is actually supposed to be patterned. His character in that is patterned after Wesker, which them people stole my idea. Because that Adrian dude, which I find funny because Adrian is my name, but that Adrian dude in that Apocalypse Kiss has two different color eyes. And I've always said that in my Happy Fangirl universe, Wesker has a green eye and a blue eye. 
So they stole my shit. Don't think I don't know y'all stole my shit. I know y'all stole my shit. Stop stealing my shit. <laughs> so and then I went and looked back one of my earliest Resident Evil fan fictions. I did mention that Wesker had two different color eyes. So you stole my shit. So <sighs> can't hear nothing. They just be taking it and just be like yoink and just running with the joint again. So yeah, so that's uh that's some guy hit his dick out in that movie. You wanna go watch Apocalypse Kiss, y'all can go watch it, but just to warn you, some dude that's not DC Douglas had his dick out and I was not expecting somebody's dick in my face. So <sighs> So, there's some fan movies, and the last one of the fan movies that's related to video games, because I know this is a video game one, but the last of the fan movies is, um, the guy who originally did the voice acting as Wesker in the original 1995-1996 version of Resident Evil, Sergio Alarcon, or Sergio Jones, or Sergio Alarcon Jones, he has, his two movies are up, Shadow Dead Riot, which is crazy, and then something called Late Thing, so... And you can't really hear the Wesker, but they say that's the guy who originally did Wesker's voice acting. I don't know who the guy was who did the motion capture, the FMV portion is, but that's who did Wesker's voice in the original way back classic Resident Evil with the stop it, don't open that door. It was that Wesker. So, but yeah, that's related to video games because all them dudes I just mentioned in all the movies, they all did video game stuff. Um, real quick, one of the treasures that I found in my parents' house that I thought was gone forever was this. Oh, wrong side. I found this! My brother bought this. I yoinked this from my brother years ago, and he didn't know I had yoinked it because I, I liked playing this. But this is an import game called Hermie Cooperhead. It's so cute. I ain't going to take this because I'm not coming back to my parents' house. I'm putting this in my book bag now. But, yeah. I'm going to take that, and I have a Japanese PlayStation player on. So I have all the old classic Japanese games that I used to love to play. So, yeah. So, and the last thing I want to talk about, there's a real, 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 real quick, 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 quick thing. So, I follow Lust from Beyond, as we all know, and I love me some Lust from whatever franchise. We all have established that I am in the, deeply in love with the Lust from wherever franchise, and I hope they can keep this going until the end of damn time. So, they have been, they're on Kickstarter, and I posted when I did all of that craziness, when, when I saw the, the demo, they have, um, they had a goal that they were trying to get to, 69,000, um, CAS, I think that, I don't know, that's not, that's not Euros, um, uh, 60, Sixty-nine thousand CAS goal stretch. They reached their goal. So, with them having reached this sixty-nine thousand CAS goal on Kickstarter, Kickstarter, we hit our sixty-nine thousand goal on Kickstarter campaign. Now the game will contain additional quote interactive sex scenes. It's gonna be a lot of trash in there. It's gonna be wonderful that they're gonna put that amount of smut in the game and then people are gonna really have to be boinking in the game and that's gonna have to really go on Pornhub, y'all. There's no way to go. There's, 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 I don't know though, because I watched that new Rammstein has a new music video out. It was a lot of breasts in that video. It was a lot of, and it was a lot of black breasts because I guess they were in Africa and they had a lot of topless black women. A lot of breasts in that last Rammstein video. So if Rammstein can go around having breasts in a video, well, it was just boo. They weren't fucking. So <laughs> somebody need to put that on Pornhub. Let's just blanket say y'all need to get it together and put a Pornhub account together for us from beyond. Cause if they don't be fucking, it's gonna be a problem. So and YouTube is probably gonna shut it down. And I'm trying to watch this unfiltered. So get it together, get some Pornhub account together to put that on Pornhub, because Pornhub don't care. They'll put whatever up. They'll be like, right, whatever, we don't even care. So y'all need to do that. So that is all I have for this video game vlog. This is a long ass video game vlog, and I, I, I'm not posting a link to, to Eat Standing. Y'all can find that. Just type in Death Stranding or Eat Standing. 
because that's apparently the joke going around and I've fueled it too so whatever but yeah I'm not I don't care and I do care about less from beyond because that's gonna be goddamn awesome so that is all I have and this was probably the last vlog for Philly and I will see y'all at some point in New York probably when I have to figure out what I'm gonna do for E3 speaking of which somebody said the Microsoft Con press conference is gonna be two hours it's gonna be doodads. They're gonna be like, oh, Sony's not coming? Let's talk about doodads. It's gonna be some doodads. I'm, I'm almost putting cash money on the doodads. But two hours, I, I don't even know. So that's all I have for now though, and I will see y'all at some point. So later.